pottery can be something more than just a functional item. That it can have this extra layer of beauty that you don't typically see in your mugs or your vases. And that anybody, if they have an interest, can learn how to make pottery. It's, it's like magic. I think most people have made pieces when they're kids. You can take a chunk of clay and make something. So we are in my pottery studio um, at Liberty Arts. I've been here for about five years um, and I've kind of taken the studio and turned it into a community space. Like when I first came here, it was more of a personal space. I mean, my own creations, but I learned a lot of what I know now through community spaces. So I decided to start having classes. Um, and now I rent out space to students and to people who just want to learn how to make pottery. Pottery has, is in this weird area where some people consider themselves artists and some people consider themselves craftsmen. I think I'm somewhere in the middle. So I make functional pieces and a lot of times they have decorative aspects that can make them art pieces. So I think I'm kind of a mix between an artist and a craftsman. I love functional pieces. I like for my pieces to have some type of use, um, preferably everyday use where you get to see them, but they need to have some sort of beauty where it's not just a functional item, it's kind of above that. So it's like steering a beautiful painting, but you actually get to use it for your morning coffee every day. I hope that people get a sense of depth and layers when they look at my pieces. I'm really drawn to texture. And so it's this kind of growing connection between the piece. It's always changing, always kind of evolving. It's like diving past the first layer and you kind of continue the journey. We host classes here at Liberty. I host classes in my space. There are six week classes. We run three classes every session. And then I also offer um, what we call open studio pass. So if you have some pottery experience, you can purchase an access pass and you have access to the studio for six weeks. It includes your clay and you can come in and create in the space. I do feel a sense of kind of responsibility to kind of represent women and minorities as a potter. Um, I don't really know how to change it in a sense because I think it's such a vast larger issue that goes towards resources and economics and all of that, but I think I could stand as a representative to say, hey, I'm in this field. And because I offer like assistantships here, I can kind of offer out a hand and say, hey, if you're interested, come with me and we can do this together. It's really important that people find the beauty in the small things. And it kind of comes back to that idea of craftsmanship and artists. These are functional pieces. People oftentimes will not think that these can bring little pieces of joy to them. And so it's like, all right, you can make a mug or buy a mug. That's not only functional, but it brings you a little piece of beauty and joy into your everyday life.